All right, guys, back again. So let's talk about I Spit on Your Grave. And I Spit on Your Grave, I've never seen before. And I, as a horror fan, I'm honestly ashamed that it took me a long, this long to see it. But I Spit on Your Grave is, of course, the controversial movie from 1978 about a woman who's basically raped 30 minutes of the movie out of an hour and 40 minutes. So it's, it's a movie that has been appalled by people, uh, lauded by people. Roger and Ebert hated this movie, and Roger Ebert, um, did I say Rod, Roger and Ebert? I mean, I didn't mean that, I meant Roger Ebert. Roger Ebert hated this movie, and he really, like, th he thought it was the worst movie he'd ever seen, and that's really something to hear that, I, because Roger Ebert, in his prime, saw so many things, and he was not a big horror fan, really, to be honest, on his part, but this movie is interesting because it's just gained such a weird reputation. It's gained such a negative feedback from so many people to, since it's been released. But also, it's a movie that's gained a good cult following where it's a movie that you could look at it from an opposite viewpoint, too. Where, like, this movie is a rape-revenge movie. But for me, watching this one, this one is cruel, in a in a way that really bugged me, um, not in a way that the, it bugged me as a movie. In a way that it bugged me as in a it is doing a great job of being horrifying. It's a it does a great job of being so disgusting that you get so pissed off at it. And I think it did a great job of making me just mad watching the movie because it was just so well done. Um, like I said, because. 30 minutes of this movie is about is the girl getting raped gang raped by these guys and to watch all that horrible stuff happen to her and then the rest of the movie have her take revenge I think really works very good because you really do feel it does feel so rewarding whenever you see her go after these rapists and it's just it's so well done in that fact and I really like this movie a lot and I'm glad that I finally got to see it because it, it really shows that a movie like this a such a simplistic movie that's horrible with its subject matter can be can feel so great and rewarding at the end whenever she gets her revenge and it's and it's these movies are a dime a dozen these ra rape revenge movies but this is one that is not one that people really I think if people look at these kind of movies these rape revenge movies this is one that I think people talk about more fondly than any other ones. I haven't seen many of these rape revenge movies except for Savage Streets, which I really enjoyed with Linda Blair. But that movie is more over the top and goofy than this one. This one is raw and gritty. And whenever it, it shows stuff, it shows it. Whenever it has violence, it has good violence and strong violence. And the acting is really good. Like, I, I really liked... I forgot what her name is, Camille something, the main girl. She is so good in this movie and and to see to see what goes with this character throughout the movie, it feels like it's really happening. And that's weird to say, but it feels like because her performance is so good, it feels like it's happening like really. Like it's like you're watching a snuff film. It's like you're watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, which I still feel is the scariest movie ever made. And watching this movie felt like that, where you're watching a movie that you shouldn't be watching. And I thought it just did a fantastic job of that. And just a good use of everything horror in this movie. I think it's, I think it's a great horror movie. I think it's a great revenge movie. I like that there's not much of a score, too. There's a couple bits of harmonica playing, but that's it. And And the movie is basically silent besides that. And that's really cool because it feels more real and again it's so weird to think man it's cool to see how realistic this gross movie is but it makes it effective where you get so angry at least I got so angry watching this that whenever you get to the rewarding parts of the movie it works very very well and I just really really enjoyed everything about this one I'm so glad I finally got to see it and I will after this be watching all the sequels and the remakes so they made a remake in 2010, I think, and then they made two sequels, and then they made 
I Spit on Your Grave Deja Vu, which is a sequel to this one, 40 years later. And it has a 2.6 on IMDb, which is, it's got to be something special bad to be a 2.6 out of 10 on IMDb. So I really am curious about the the sequel to this one. Not as much the remake and the sequels, but I'm going to watch those next because I bought the set with the, the remake and the two sequels. So as of now, this this one I think is great. I really, really, really loved it. I loved how cruel it was, but I loved how rewarding it was. And it just did a really good job of being a very, very well-acted movie. And it's really, really hard to watch, but in a way where you praise it. You praise how this is just a movie. It's not real. And I, I love that. I think that's awesome. And I really, really love this movie. So like I said, reviews will be coming up for the sequels as well and the remakes. But as of now, first one I watched, really freaking awesome. So that's it on my review. Tell me down below what you guys think of the original I Spit on Your Grave. And thank you guys for watching.